disrupting my very valuable information video. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tatiana Edgeworth and don't forget to please like and subscribe to my videos. So if you guys didn't know by the title, we are gonna be talking about transferring. One, my wig isn't done, looks crazy. Don't come at me in the comments, don't come at me. Don't Just don't come at me. Two, I wanted to just put out there that there is literally no good videos for transferring from a community college to a state's college. So I have like a lot of information. Me and my friend talked to it where I might be missing some information, but I also have like at least 10 tips plus bonus. So we're gonna just gonna go ahead and go right into it. So the first thing I wanted to let you guys know was, okay, so don't forget to talk to your counselor. That's the first thing you need to do is make sure you talk to your counselor to make sure that you're on track. Because I know with me, I literally was in a community college for about five years for some odd reason. And I was talking to like so many different counselors because everybody had like, something different to say but make sure they give you like this little program sheet make sure you're on track also these do count but there's something tricky about these I, I don't know if it goes towards your credit but not towards the class that's required or what but i know if you do get these it still counts you still can transfer because what it was that i was retaking classes with these in it that wasn't in my major like health ed or something like that or whatever situation is or like certain like a certain class if it's not within your major you can still get a d and still have it transfer over for unit wise. So that's a that's that's a good one. Cause I wouldn't have spent so long trying to retake classes for so long, you know? But I do recommend for you guys to get like C's and above just to be safe. But if you have any D's, talk to your um, talk to your counselor about it. A big tip, y'all. Y'all not gonna like this one. When I transferred over, I thought your girl was done with math. I was done with math, I was done with science. Your girl was like, oh, I get to focus on my major. I only get to take psychology classes. It's about to be lit. Like, I'm about to just pass what flying stones. Let me tell you something. There's this thing called general ed for upper division. So when you're in your community college, you take general ed, like, you know, your math and science and whatever, and they tell you, oh, you don't have to take them no more once you transfer, that's a lie. Because there is a thing called upper division to where you need to take a science class, upper division, a math class, upper division. So last semester I had to take like a statistic class again. So I had to take my third statistic class. Although I already took a statistic class at Delta Community College, um, when I transferred, I still have to take another one. Yes, your girl was irritated, but she did pass. What's she doing? You see me filming, close my door. Tip number three, you can apply to, I think only up to four schools for free to state schools if you qualify. So when I apply for schools, that's like this, like, it's like, I forgot what it's called, guys. That's why I wanted to make this video now because I, I knew I was going to forget because it's been like over a year for me. But basically, like you could apply, I applied to like four different schools and then literally I qualified. So um, it was for free. I didn't have to pay because, you know, usually it's like a, I don't know, like 30 or $40 for me, even $50 every single school that you apply for. But the first four schools that I applied for, just because I qualified, like, I think it's like to do something with your financial aid um, that you just get in for free. Tip number four is when you have an AA transfer degree, it helps you transfer over with priority registration and application advantages and a GPA raises too. So I'm pretty sure when you have, because like you can get a psychology degree, for example, I have a psychology degree and I have a psychology transfer degree. So it was easier for me to get accepted into the school. And when I did get accepted, I had priority registration and it raised my GPA up just to get into the program. You know what I mean? So that's something I feel like is very important. It's not required, but it's highly recommended for you to get whatever your degree is. Make sure it's a transferable degree. You know what I mean? And the requirements for it is going to be different than it is for your regular associate's degree. It has to be an associate's transfer degree. Tip number five is to use assist.org. That is going to be the link down below because that's very important so basically assist.org is like when you want to compare to the community college that you go to to the community college to the state college that you or even like um universities that you want to go to but as within california because i did try to look at something like i mean it's for other schools too but i remember i was trying to transfer to tsu it didn't work because like the requirements are just completely different like they don't have anything like transferable towards each other but i know with the california colleges like they have assist.org so it could tell you, okay, well, you need this many math classes, this little volunteer class. Sorry about that, guys. My family is 
The little brother wants to come in here and bother me, play his music heck loud. The other one's just being crazy, playing his music heck loud, and it's like. I'm trying to make a video. It's about assist.org. You need to see like what replacements because sometimes like I know when I was trying to transfer to Southern California that the class that I wanted to take, they didn't have it at Delta College. So if I needed to, I needed to I needed to take it in order to get Oh you're cheating. Oh you're cheating. What are you doing? I'm filming. What are you doing? <laughs> okay guys. <laughs> People are so interrupting my very valuable information video. You guys, I'm being... <laughs> this is crazy. I don't have a ponytail holder right now, so I'm just, like, making it work. <laughs> okay, I could deal with this one. Tip number, I think, six we're on. I'm not sure. I'll just, like, have it down somewhere. This is very valuable. So, when I was in delta college i was on probation period which is basically like you're not really doing it that great in class or anything so i was thinking that i didn't have financial aid because i appealed it so many times like it was just like whatever but a thing that is very important to know when you have financial aid is a thing called fafsa when you have financial aid it transfers over to the next school and you don't have to appeal it so i didn't get financial aid for my community college but i went ahead and applied anyway for my bachelor's degree and when i worked on my bachelor's degree i get financial aid and honey that is very important because when you go to a college you want to be able to make sure that you can get any grants or anything as much as possible financial aid as possible because you want to not come out the pocket so your girl ain't coming out the pocket when it comes to her education right now but i did when i went to community college so it's kind of weird to like explain it oh and then like there's so many semesters that they give you for free so that's why usually when you work, work on your master's degree because you've been in school for so long that you kind of maxed out your financial aid so they don't give you financial, financial aid when you work on your master's or your PhD but they, they can't give you like a grant or something like that or a scholarship but your financial aid usually doesn't work when you get a master's degree but for your bachelor's because it's still at many like at a certain amount of time and you transferred over to a different school you do not have to appeal it and that girl is a good one okay a very important tip i think number seven is that you need to apply to a uc or a college a year in advance so if you graduate this year let's say like i i graduate this year right like i'm done um and may that just passed up i should apply for school the year before so if i'm if i plan on like now how i'm a junior like yeah, so I'm a junior right now, basically. I am a junior, wow. I'm a junior in college, so an actual junior. <laughs> so because I'm a junior in college, now if I want to transfer to a different school, like a master's program, I would have to start applying now for a master's program. It's the same thing for your junior college. So if now if I'm like a sophomore and I want to go to a college, I should have been applied the year before it's you it's literally like a year wait so usually the open registration you check your school do not quote me for this usually open registration is like um i think no october in november is when it's open and that's when you can start applying for schools but it's like a short window and yeah that's i think that's very important for you guys to know so tip number eight is your financial aid it's f a FAFSA, like FAFSA. I'll have all of the links down below again. But FAFSA basically is your financial aid for, and it's you have your state FAFSA and, and I think your federal. Um, registration for you guys to start signing up for your financial aid starts in October. I don't know if people know that. And it's first come, first serve. Because let me tell you, the first semester that I was in school, I had to come out of the pocket, I think like um $2,000 because I didn't get my state or federal. I think it was like the state whichever one gives you more um the state didn't because i applied so later like i think the deadline is in january i want to say like january i believe the deadline is don't quote me on none of this do your research after this video but all i'm saying is at the end of the day when you apply for your financial aid apply in october as soon as possible because it's first come first serve and you don't want to be one of those people who applied later on and you still get accepted but you're barely not going to get anything and you're not going to get your school paid for and you're only going to get a little bit of it you know what i mean like and you can get a lot more programs if you just apply as soon as possible and one thing that i did not know that my friend had to point out is that they use the year before taxes so if you, and i used to wait until so i'm lying so i used to wait until like march when i applied because I was waiting for my taxes to come in because I thought it was like the taxes that you just have come in. But apparently they use last year taxes. So as long as you have your tax before 
um you should be able to apply ahead of time and if you're 25 and above you don't even need to use your parents anymore because yeah you're an adult adult tip number nine guys like for real i did not know this so i have you guys don't know like i had a terrible gpa in my working in my community college so when i transferred over to my bachelor's degree i was like oh um i get to start over right because i'm transferring over so i get to basically whatever i have this semester is going to move forward on no the GPA that I transferred over with, I think was like, I don't know, like a 2.25 or something like that. Oh, so the, basically the GPA that I have um, now, like the 2.25, um, it transferred over and it kept continuing, you know what I mean? So the semesters, although I've kept getting like 4.0s and like 3.5s, I it's barely still climbing up from when I was in college for five years. You know what I mean? So it's not like, okay, when you're over there in college, you have like a, a 2.0 and you start having 4.0s when your bachelor's degree, it's just gonna balance out, it's gonna accumulate together, it's not gonna start over. So, yeah, your girl's probably not gonna graduate and have a um, honors tassel, but it's okay. I still feel very honored. Last but not least, tip is, you can still take all of your requirements for your major and still not have enough units you know what i mean i hope that makes sense so for an example like let's say that i need 70 units to transfer right or and and i need like say like my classes like my psychology degree classes only takes up let's say 55 the next few classes are electives so you may think that you're graduating like i thought i was graduating a whole semester ahead of time with my bachelor's degree until i figured out like oh wait a minute um I still need a certain like so you still have your requirement classes you need to take in each section and then you need a certain amount of units too which is where you use your electives makes sense so I hope I can I hope that makes sense so whatever classes that you have and that you are required to take boom you took those whatever but then you still need to take an extra three classes just to make up to have all of those units you need for the degree and those three classes can be anything like any electives you know what i mean i hope that makes i'm pretty sure that makes sense bonus tip, <laughs> bonus tip. <laughs> so there's a thing with state colleges i don't know check your school um but there's a thing with state colleges at least the one i went to and a couple of, like my friends too there's a thing called a wp test it's a written proficiency test and you need to take that in order to take certain classes within your major to have and that those classes are requirements for your major in order for you to even get your degree so i hope that makes sense so this test um i took in beginning well, before class before school the semester even started i had took taken it and i passed it it was just basically like you writing like a quick essay Say, just to make sure that you are up to part here if not then I guess you got to take a written proficiency class in order to move on or you can retake the test again okay guys I hope you guys like the video I hope it was really good tips I hope I explained it's clear enough for you guys to understand where I'm coming from if not I am very sorry I will be having a lot of things linked down below because I feel like it's a very valuable information on transfer students because I couldn't find really any videos um, my family comes from a background where they're not really i'm not going to say they're not that there was nobody to help me basically when i was transferring if it wasn't for my friend being there for me because his mother had graduated and been through the same thing for her to know that information but I, my family hasn't graduated or been to college like that for them to know all the steps to go to go through to make sure that i transfer because a lot of the dates and stuff like make sure you check the website check the school that you want to go to website and make sure that you check the school that you are attending to website because a lot of stuff is due and they don't never say anything sometimes counselors don't even know so it's it's your responsibility as adults to make sure that you're on top of it because if it wasn't for my friend honestly i don't even know if i would have transferred on time because he's the one that's like oh did you do this did you do that da, 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 da. so all of this is really valuable information check the dates that i was talking about earlier i will try to leave some links down below to help you guys out you know like the fafsa make sure you get your financial aid the grants scholarships um i did not do i never got a scholarship but i hope you guys like this video please thumbs up um subscribe to my channel and i guess i will see you guys next video bye babies